Yo tengo la esperanza. I have the hope that the peace community will be respected, that their rights will be recognized. I have the hope that there will be justice. And I feel that there is a heartbeat in the heart of the world. And this heart of the world is the youth. I was part of the youth group, and we were here with our theater piece, The Black Shadow and the Riddle of the Princess. And we did like a small theater tour. And this was also my focus in the pilgrimage, also to integrate the youth of San Jose with this theater piece. Castillo medieval es la víspera de la boda de la princesa. Ay, nuestra hija, todo mi orgullo. Sí, nuestra hija. ¿Cómo? ¿No hay champán? Mi querida Chocó Nuevamente han destruido miles de hectáreas de floresta tropical Para obtener aceite de palma Campesinos e indígenas Fueron desplazados a los barrios marginales de las grandes ciudades Insolencia Que nos dejan en paz Será, a fin de cuentas Que haya otro mundo ahí afuera with the theater, we change the world. We notice the reactions of the people as they watch us acting the situation that is happening in the world. The main issues for every person are so that they, through our energy, can open their eyes and hearts to see it y abrir, abrir los más sus corazones y sus mentes para verlo. We are facilitators for young people to express their political heart into the world. And the other thing what was very, very important was the connection between our youth and the youth of Colombia. For me, that was the main hope carrier, as the Teatro da Esperanza is the theater of hope. That was for me one clear fulfillment of the vision of this work we are doing. Every time we played the theater piece, it was stronger because we integrated more from the youth of San Jose. And I really knew I was sitting there listening to this young woman who was telling her, her own story or the story of her parents or grandparents. Los cuales me han contado. De los cuales me han contado. También a ustedes. Le pido a todos los dioses de los cuales me han contado, también a ustedes, si tienen alguna posibilidad, ayúdennos. And she has such a power with it because she knows this is what happens to me and I want to tell it to everyone so they know what happened. And this was just amazing. And I was really thankful for this because I know if they tell it, also, we reach more people. They saw the piece once or twice and they 
totally said, I want to play it. Because they want to show what is their life. And then we had a bus drive of twice two hours. And in the first two hours, they learned all their text. <laughs> And then we had one day to really practice with them. And afterwards we performed. There was never, never an, an hesitation. For me it felt more like they were so, so looking for a channel where they can express their political heart and their compassion. Soy un niño soldado. Si pudiera tener un deseo, sería de librarme del fusil y volver a encontrar mi madre. It's often like really an awakening call for me to see that they live in such a situation which is much more difficult than our situation and that still they continue with their life track, with their idea of the community. Just everyone has to know there will be the point where there will be peace on earth and there will be the point where the whole world will be one community of peace and I'm already now thankful for this. Yes. <laughs>